talk to, you know? I mean, really talk? But I don't know, it's weird. It's like, I feel like I can talk to you about anything. It's, it's, it's almost as if, never mind. What? <laughs> it's almost as if I've known you my entire life. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm really stupid. No, I'm flattered. Really? Really. <laughs> Are you expecting someone? Um, no. Well, then would you mind if... You join me? Well, no, that would be fine. No, I just wanted to take that extra chair. <laughs> <laughs> expecting a group? Well, you know, I'd like to keep my options open. <laughs> fine. Go ahead. You sure? Take it. Thanks. <laughs> Perceive for me to make you feel? Yes. Your emotions, your own responsibility, you know. I accept that. Good for you. <laughs> and if I don't express them, they will remain bottled up until they erupt in some completely inappropriate action, which, if I were a man, would probably result in violence towards others weaker than myself. But since I am a woman, will more than likely be self destructive. Frankly, I would prefer to avoid such an unpleasant scenario, having spent a large portion of my adult life, not to mention my adult income, <coughs> attempting to overcome various self-destructive tendencies that were programmed into my nature by an extremely neurotic mother that I live in the hellish fear of becoming. So, I am choosing for my own sake to express these feelings to you. <laughs> I can deal with that. Good. Now, <clears throat> you are a despicable little man, and you do deserve to rot in hell. What's more, that haircut is unfortunate. It really accentuates <laughs> the cheapness of your suit. And I know you think that tie says I'm so hip underneath this corporate exterior, but what it really says is I have the taste of a cantaloupe, and what's more, I need therapy. <laughs> Short, my presentation skills are laughably amateurish. Whoa, you know, you play hardball. Whoa. <laughs> Instinct would be my guess. What instinct? The mating instinct. Oh, I'm afraid not. Hey, I'm surprised you are. You know what they say. Rules of attraction. I am in no way attracted to you. Maybe not intellectually, although I suspect that could be part of it. I could be wrong, maybe. It's purely physical. You flatter yourself. I mean, that's what it is for me. My attraction to you. Purely physical. Really? Yeah. Which is weird because you're not at all my type. And what great though? I like a tall, large breasted cat eye temptress who wears her sex like she perfume. And yourself? I like a man who's smart, funny, confident, sensitive, affectionate, gentle, strong, independent, committed, caring, stable, and willing to take risks. <laughs> That's realistic. So I'm At least my type exists. <laughs> Considerably, I no longer require the linebacker shoulders. Lucky for you, I might add. <laughs> well, if you can have a thing for large breasts, I can have a thing for shoulders like Cliff. I can always work out. I could always get implants. <laughs> you do that for me? Pay to be mutilated to fulfill your infantile fantasies? Why, it's every woman's dream. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> I'm your androgynous waiter. <laughs> oh, funny, you don't look androgynous. 
Androgynous? That's because I'm a woman. Oh. <laughs> only make 67 cents for every misused, undeserved dollars that others make, and therefore find it hard to justify dropping hundreds of dollars for lunch. I'm not paying for it. Well, sir, this must seem terribly old-fashioned, but we do have a policy here of charging our customers for their meals. Yeah? Well, I have an unlimited expense account. Toots. Toots. You know, you really are quite attractive when you're condescending. <laughs> I don't know how to compete with this. Hey, I thought you weren't attracted to me. I'm not. It's Dorothy that I'm attracted to. <laughs> that is disgusting. How dare you make such an assumption about me? No, I, I am mean... not a homosexual. I'm a normal, red-blooded young woman with traditional values and faith in God and country. Just because I'm slightly androgynous, you immediately jump to the conclusion that I'm a lesbian and make a pass at me? You are way out of line, sister. You don't understand. Oh, I'm... I understand. First, you confuse me with propaganda about how centuries of male oppression is really just a smokescreen for men's monumental fear of women. And then, you promise me intimacy that men are incapable of drawing me into your loathsome, unnatural world. Oh, hey, it isn't so bad. I got a spread in there of two stewardesses that's inspired. <laughs> Until I surrender to <laughs> unspeakable base desire. Can I watch? I'm not interested in wallowing in filth and degradation. I'm only interested in using sex to snag a rich husband. <laughs> well, then I'm a man. naturally. <laughs> You're married. No, I'm a conspicuous bachelor. You're gay. Oh, no. I'm, I'm notoriously heterosexual. Then you're the Peter Pan type, right? Too neurotic and ambivalent to ever make a commitment? No, I dream of finding the right person to shower with financial luxury, undying devotion, and terrific sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Could this be it? Could this be? True love. Dare we even say it? Overpowering <laughs> us. It's intoxicating us with its heady perfume. <laughs> Turning us into trembling. Panting. Weakening. Grander. Pigs of desire. <laughs> its touch was like blood. Every inch of her skin was in flames. <laughs> Partly from their sheer force and partly because of the uncontrollable desire they awakened deep within her. She moaned softly. Oh. Wishing she could hide. But he took her face in his hands and said, No one will ever love you as I do. God, I love that part. Then, without warning, his masterful hands found their way to her delicate bosom and he ripped open the bodice, bodice of her dress savagely. And, okay, wait a minute. Whoa, time out. I can't allow this to continue. Mission was required. You were making a complete fool of yourself. I had to do something. I feel so ashamed. Why? I feel so tawdry, so cheap. Slut. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's my own fault. I should have never believed you when you said you loved me. I never said I loved you. What, what was that? <laughs> I didn't. All I said was true love. Precisely my point, Your Honor. I was merely referring to a philosophical ideal. Your Honor, the defendant plied my client with false promises and then robbed this innocent young woman of her only possession of any true worth, her virtue. <laughs> my life is shattered. Now wait just a minute. I never promised you You said you wanted to get married. I do, someday. You said you drove a Porsche. I did, once. Oh, Your Honor, I rest my case. Hold it. I never actually said that I loved you or that I wanted to marry you. Now, you may have misinterpreted my statements in such a way that you heard what you wanted to hear, but I could not be held accountable for that. How can you be so cruel? I'm just being honest. Look, we had a good time, didn't we? Why can't that be enough? <laughs> Did I really just say that? Hey, walking what mile in my shoes, baby. <laughs> now how does it feel? Oh, not good. I, I think I need to sit down. I would love to stay and chat, but I do have other tables to attend to. Aren't you going to tell us the specials? Why don't you let me get you another waiter? Why? 
I just think it would be best for everyone concerned, considering all that we've been through. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. We're all adults here. Well, I'm sure you two upwardly mobile types have shrinks that you pay obscene amounts of money to help you accept and transcend humiliating episodes in your life. But me, every cent I make goes to hair care products, so I feel like... <laughs> I think you're making this much more important than it really is. You really didn't mean anything to either one of us. Isn't that right? Well, I do have to admit to a keen aesthetic appreciation of, you know, your outward appearance, but aside from that, you know, sorry. And that's why I would prefer you had another waiter, because this really is damaging to my self-esteem. Oh, grow up. I mean, come on. Look at yourself. Don't you think you're taking this a little too seriously? Look, you're nothing but another well-put-together bimbo. People use you. That's the function you serve in society, okay? Hey, it's not so bad. You play your cards right, you can get your own TV show. Why do you to be so brutal? Why not? Why not? That's the problem with this culture. Everybody expects too much. I mean, not everyone can be happy. Can you imagine what things would be like? People would no longer feel compelled to go out and buy material goods in some futile attempt to fill the void in their lives. I mean, advertising would become completely ineffectual. The economy would collapse. The economy is collapsing. Oh, yeah, right. Just turn this into an emotional thing. God, it's such like a woman. I still think it would be best if another waiter came and took your table. Do you want me to talk to your manager, stop your whining, and just tell us the specials? All right. We have two specials today. First, we have the new commitment. Oh, that sounds interesting. I'm allergic to that. And we have mindless promiscuity with the drug and alcohol glaze. There we go. <laughs> it's the most expensive thing on the menu. Well, then it's got my name all over it. Very well, I'll just need your signature on this release form. <laughs> uh, I think I may want to change my order. Uh, you go ahead. I'll have the new commitment, please. How is that prepared? No one really knows. And you, sir? <laughs> um, well, I, I think I'm going to need some more time. Do you mind coming back in a few minutes? Oh, certainly. Allow me to readjust my entire routine to suit you. Thank you. Because of my vastly inferior socioeconomic stat. Yes. <laughs> I exist only to serve. And that's as it should be. It's my privilege. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that girl's got a hell of a future ahead of her. Oh, oh, don't look at me like that. Not after the way you treated her. I cannot be held accountable for my actions. I was a man at the time. <laughs> so how'd you like it? It was interesting. Interesting? Didn't you have any fun? I guess it was exciting. Yeah, I mean, isn't it a rush? Stretching the limits, seeing how much you can get away with? Definitely educational. Educational? Are you kidding me? In kind of a depraved way. It's not for me, though. Well, I can see that. No, too tense, too competitive, too many insecurities. Couldn't hack it, huh? Feeling that defensive all the time, who would want to? Well, you know, it takes a man to be a man. <laughs> God, I am so sick of hearing that! What? Being a man like it's more important than being a person. Calm down. I will not Calm down. It's so senseless. All you poor little boys getting all twisted and repressed and neurotic by trying to grow up to be men. Well, what would you like for us to grow up to be then? People! Human beings! But no. Be a man about it. Take it like a man. Walk like a man. You're too strong to ever need anybody and too cool to ever be affected by anything. You're full of resentment and rage and frustration and fear. But you're too stupid to do anything more constructive with it than kill somebody or blow something up. I never killed anybody. Then be rewarded for that kind of behavior. You've been groomed for it from day one. I don't even own a gun. What, is that supposed to impress me? When the hellish nightmare of Armageddon is finally realized, the blood of millions will be on your hands and your hands alone. Oh, you can't possibly ask me to shoulder the blame for that. Running away from responsibility, how typically male. Oh, blaming men for everything that's wrong in the world, how typically female. I just call it as I see it, Buster. Yeah? Yeah, well, well if men are so rotten, then, then why are you trying so hard to be one? Once. That was once. Oh, come on. I mean, look at you. <laughs> what is this get up here? What? This thing. What is this thing here? This, this, this poop thing, this, this ridiculous time.
my substitute. I'll tell you what that is. It's a superficial and totally absurd symbol that one must display to be taken seriously in the male-dominated business world. It says, I don't make waves, I tow the line, I'm a slave to the machine. Well, for somebody who is so contemptuous of men, I mean, it seems to me you're pretty damn eager to play the same bullshit sellout conformity game. Oh, I see. It's okay for you to be a sniveling, brown-nosing corporate psychophant, but it's not okay for me. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite an ugly double standard. You're nothing but a jealous, spiteful harpy. And you're a swollen, self-important jackass. Brainless twit. Spineless dory. Geek. Twink. Dink. <laughs> oh, no. Not again. Can't fight nature, baby. <laughs> no way, natural. Stop resisting your true feelings. <laughs> Remind me what those are. You want me. You aim for me. You need me. You are out of your mind. Yeah? Then why do you continue to dance with me? You'll have to forgive me. It seems to be some kind of involuntary knee-jerk reaction to this music. completely and without reservation. What? The moment I saw you, my life changed forever. I was only sleepwalking before, just a shadow of myself. But you have touched something deep, deep within me. I forgot even existed. You're hallucinating. I burn for you. My heart aches for you. I, I close my eyes and I see you, only you. I worship you. I cherish you. God, how I adore you. You must love me or I shall die. Stop that. I can't help myself. Well, try. I would, but you're asking me to do the one thing I am incapable of. I know. Behaving like a rational being. I cannot silence my love for you. You are doing the worst thing a man can do to a woman. You're saying all the right things, and I won't stand for it. Do you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> and I want the entire world to know! <laughs> You can't possibly mean that. <laughs> Bet I do, Bonzo. I've seen this movie too many times. But, but, but you are my life. <laughs> Thanks, but mine is already weird enough. Wh what can I do to make you stay? Not a damn thing, pal. That's the point. Get it? 
No one will ever love you as much as I do. <laughs> oh, yeah? So take me. Excuse me? Take me right here on the table. Wait. I want you. I need you. I hate you. I'm hungry for you, baby. Well, uh, lunch is coming. We don't want to spoil our appetites, do we? Oh, hurry. Please don't keep me waiting. What the hell has gotten into you? Uh, nothing yet. It was an accident. I really never meant to do it. Yeah, Betty, oh, step uh, away. Yeah. <laughs> it's about time somebody taught you how to ride. What, 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 uh, what about this? <laughs> hey, I made that agreement with you in good faith. So sue me. Would it? I'm sorry. Excuse me. Hi, you want to get married? I can't, I'm working. I don't believe this. Oh, <laughs> we can still be friends, right? You are such a gutless chicken shit son of a bitch! You know, you have excellent communication skills, so why don't you go communicate somewhere, okay? Oh, right. That would be really convenient, well, wouldn't it? Yeah, actually. You're probably used to women making things convenient for you. And as a matter of fact... Starting with your mother, I bet. <laughs> yourself. Believe it or not, there's a part of me that wants to watch. Doesn't it. bother me. That same part of me that can't help staring at car wrecks. I hope <laughs> you're speaking for someone else's benefit because I'm not listening. Hi. Hello. Will you join me for a drink? No, I could lose my job. Well, whatever you're making, I'll double it. Oh, okay. Well, so what can I get you? Oh, I don't drink. Well, how about lunch? I'm on a diet. Well, isn't there anything I can get you? My own TV show. What? It's yours. You mean it? Sure, a piece of cake. Thanks. So what's your name? You don't remember me. Of course I remember you. How could I forget you? I mean, how long has it been? Oh, about ten minutes. Wait a minute. That's oh. right. I'm your waiter, Dorothy. Well, I go by Donald now. I've had a sex change operation, and now I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> sure about that? Oh, yes. Maybe it seems a little drastic, but I was so tired of constantly being mistaken for a man and getting depressed about it all the time. And then I thought, well, maybe there's something to it. I mean, maybe I radiate some kind of male energy. And then somebody told me that if you have a sex change operation, they would make a TV show about your life, and you get to play yourself in it. So I did it. It's more of a career move than anything else. Well, it certainly suits you. Thanks. I mean, magnificent is the word that comes to mind. Oh, go on. Perhaps godlike. I bet you say that to all the boys. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm actually quite hard to impress. I'm sort of a connoisseur of beautiful men. Oh, really? Yes. Some women paint. Some women shop. I, I appreciate beauty. You're a woman? Well, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you were a man. Oh, a lot of people make that mistake. Oh, you poor thing, I know. I thought you of all people would understand. Believe me, I do. I know you do. You know, I feel as if I've known you my entire life. <laughs> I'm going to be sick. <laughs> oh, can't you bear to let somebody else be happy just once? 
No, listen, really, I'm happy that you're happy, really. Really? You mean that? Yes. <clears throat> Thank you, that means a lot to me. That doesn't mean jack shit, asshole. I just want you out of my life. <laughs> Fine, you got a deal. Good. Terrific. Better. What's this? Oh, that's a new commitment. Can I be honest with you? If you feel like you have to. As we were talking just then, I was fantasizing about you as a Roman gladiator and me as a naive but devastatingly beautiful young slave boy. That's very creative. Of course I realize it's out of the question. Oh, no, no, it isn't, really. What, are you kidding? Barb, gag, puke my guts out. I mean, please don't get me wrong. I think you're a lovely person and very attractive. I'm just not into women. Oh, well, that's okay, because I'm really a man. But you just said you were a woman. Well, uh, I was. He was like lying through his teeth, sister. That's what he was doing. <laughs> oh, like you're one to talk? Me. Don't you think I've forgotten the abysmal treatment I received at your hands? Thanks to you, I'm scarred for life. Well, partly thanks to you, and partly thanks to a marvelous plastic surgeon. Now, you wouldn't be lying to me, would you? Because lying is one thing I cannot forgive. No, 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 I wasn't. You see, I am a woman. I'm just trapped in a man's body. <laughs> God, we have so much in common! So, you know what I'm going for? Oh, yes! Being held hostage by a cruel twist of fate? Well, actually, for me, it wasn't fate. It was a conscious decision, and I don't regret it either. So you want to go back to my place and watch gladiator movies? Oh, um, I don't see you as a gladiator anymore. You, you don't? I see you as a sadistic jail warden in a small southern town. <laughs> that is the nicest thing anyone has ever said. <laughs> I'm a naive but devastatingly beautiful young farm boy, falsely accused of a crime I did not commit, being held without bail in solitary confinement. Caged heat? Precisely. It's 98 degrees out and there's no air conditioning. Oh, your clothes are so through and they <laughs> hug your right young body like second skin. I can't see your eyes behind those mirrored aviator sunglasses, but I can feel them all over me like a rash. That's repulsive. Yes, me for a drink of water. Pull your keys out of your tight jail warden pants and unlock the door. It swings open slowly. My heart is pounding. You lower your eyes as I enter your cell? You hand me the glass of water, but you don't let go. You look up at me, frightened. You take my hand and you place it on your belt. You smile and I think, oh. Maybe you're not as naive as you let on. And you're right, because then I pull your gun out of its holster and I shoot you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> your body crumples to the cold cement floor in a death spasm. <clears throat> then I steal your car and head to the railway station where Tom Brokaw is waiting for me. <laughs> he takes me in his arms and his boyish yet distinguished face lights up as he says, I've left my wife my children, and my prestigious and lucrative career for you. Please run away with me to the coast of Italy, where we shall live in an olive grove, drink wine, and make love all day. And I say, that's sweet, Tom. It's just not what I had in mind. He's crushed, and he hurls himself under an oncoming bus. I feel really bad and collapse into one of those chairs with the TV built into them. And then I hear someone say, please don't cry. You're breaking my heart. I look